Yo, what's up, guys? It's us, Chess King here. Yeah. All right, so um, yeah, I did that signal. I just want to do a quick analysis for the week with EU. And one thing about me, I love to talk about the market and just tell you exactly where the market's going. So just hang up and listen. I love to see the retail traders get bonds every single time because this is when I make the most money. All right, so let's go into education. Look at this right here, this area of interest by a lot of retail traders. So let me just drop it right now. I'm going to do a drawing real quick. And um, this level we have is a pass zone. So the retail traders have probably drawn this to the side and they expect price to turn around. That's what you used to, you understand? So they want a price to bounce off. They're ignoring what is pushing price down, which is this. So then how do we detect our possible base because we are interested in what the market is doing currently and not what it has done before which is the mistake a lot of traders have been doing this is how the possible base work so now price is right now at this side and let me tell you what it did look at this level yeah this level is a demand and this is the lowest level yeah at this spot this set of demand you can see at this time yeah price spiked to the upside strongly we have a demand price to shoot up from this level and the start up to this side is a demand zone that got broken so one price broke out from this level you can see when price came up here it had like a rejection from this level and just coming down to the side so now a lot of traders are actually trying to buy but even buying it means i am risking this old level to take profit at this side because this is the level where price is likely to reverse from so this level down, which is indicated with the green, is our possible base. Now, majoring it is showing that the sellers are really active in this market. And what I'm going to use to determine my entry is I need a false signal. Naturally, if price is breaking this level, I would just want to take a sell immediately. But in most cases, I just need retail manipulation. Retail manipulation in the sense that if we have a doji candlestick if we have a pin bar that's going to trap the retail traders i need the retail traders to be trapped because this is where we make the most money because if the retail traders are coming here to buy it means that you're going to place their stops below this liquidity zone which means they're going to have their stops down here and once they're taken out of the market because there is no enough orders to push price to the upside so price we just have to break down and once it goes down, it closes all your orders and what it creates is a sell order. Remember, if they're buying, your orders are closed as a sell order. So let's watch what this market does. This level needs to be broken. That's this green level needs to be broken to actually validate our buy entries to this level, the stop level yet. Yeah. So if price breaks out from here, we'll be seeing price heading to the side. You're seeing it? So all you just need to do is a loss of momentum. Uh, sorry, all we need for buying is for price to come here and we have to see. If you're buying from this level, remember, you need to see that price, you need to look at the next possible base before buying. Because clear red, we have a good risk to reward to this side. So you can actually buy when price get to this green level and go to the upside. But buying had this level down below this green level. Sorry, not this green level this side yeah let me be more clear okay so now once price comes here let me see if we have um okay so we can actually buy from here to the side which is valid and if you're doing any kind of buying entries just know that your buys should be shot because why if we look at it the overall for the market is on a downtrend so if you're going if you're going for the buys if market is getting to this level you should know that your buy should be short yeah so at this level we need a retail um trap once the retail traps appears and it breaks out you sell it so buying is not valid in this zone because why the possible base has invalidated it it needs to break out for you to see a short buy entry to this level yeah can see but me i would not even take a buy position at this point i'd rather just wait for the sales instead 
So I'm just telling you what price is going to do. Because once price breaks up from this level, check the market. You're going to see it driving up to this level and just try to come down again. So some people might just want to take advantage of both the buys and sells. I do that sometimes. But then please remember the rules. We want to take money from the retail traders. We want the retail traders to be trapped because that's where you will make the best money of the week. So guys, let's see if the market does exactly what I say. My name is Chess King and for sure we interpret what the market's going to do. <laughs>